Hey everybody, Mr. Deary here, and I wanted to get this out to you as soon as I got this information, uh, which was today. There's been some major updates about the AP exam. Uh, I got an email from Mr. Young and Mrs. Nordstrom as I was looking through this myself, and I wanted to go over some of the important details with you on this website. So if you go to the AP Central College Board website, you can look at the URL at the top of this tab here. Uh, you will get this information about the changes that are coming for this exam from the uh, College Board. Now, right at the top, I want you to take a look at what I'm highlighting right here, the free remote, free remote learning uh, resources. There's actually going to be uh, three webinars next week on the 25th, the 26th, and 27th, I believe. You can double check that under the English AP Language and Composition, we're talking about some basic skills. I would highly recommend setting aside time for these. And these are not only resources provided directly by the College Board with their new system, but it's actually something that I'm gonna be watching as well, just to make sure that we've been doing the right thing all year and just see if it's another way of approaching issues you might've had. So take a look at those four things right there. Below this, uh, and I'm kind of drawing our attention to about the section where it says about this year's AP exams, this is what we need to know about. 91% of the 18,000 students polled said they still want to take their exam. So here's what the College Board has said they're going to do. Go to the first bullet point here. Students can take a 45-minute online exam at home. This will be an educator-led development committee that are, is going to create this. So in essence, instead of doing the original one-hour multiple-choice test and then two hours and 15 minutes of essay writing, the initial look, and I say initial because this is likely to change, or could change, I shouldn't say likely, but it could change, is a 45-minute online exam. I don't know if that'll be for us or how that'll look, but that's the initial look here. We see that the AP curricula are being developed locally uh, as they're gonna defer to local decisions on how to best help you. So over spring break, Ms. Nordstrom and I are planning on working together uh, to take a look at our curriculum, see what we need to cover and what to do, focus on moving forward. And that is what that point is talking about. And if you go down here a little bit further, college, uh, colleges support the solution. So this is something that colleges will accept your credit for if you have that question. Students will be able to take these streamlined exams on any device you have access to, computer, tablet, or smartphone. That's the fourth point right there. Taking a photo of handwritten work will also be an option. So if you are in a position where your camera or your Chromebook or something is not available or working to you, let me or Mrs. Nordstrom know immediately so we can start rectifying that problem and getting those solutions out to you. Finally, we understand that a digital device could prevent some low income and rural students from participating. Every one of you has a Chromebook. And again, if there's an issue with your Chromebook, please let us know immediately so that way we can address it. Now, the problem is, and you can see some stuff about test security here, they're going to be working on that further. If we go down to AP language and composition, we don't have all the details here. But what these columns are, the exam questions will not cover. So let's take a look at the second and third column here. We don't have dates, we don't have anything content like that, but for English, we're gonna look at units one through seven and then eight and nine. Eight and nine were heavy on style. A lot of what we've done are skills one through six, and uh, I will, for my own courses, post an overview of what that looks like in the next uh, week or so. So we can specifically look at what skills those are and how that relates to the rubrics that we have. Right now, you are actually in a beneficial position. By looking at traditional classes and the way that the old grading system worked, standard space grading is actually going to kind of come out and help you here. They're going to focus in on specific skills rather than overarching content. So we will continue to practice and hone those individual skills. We'll take advantage of the webinars that are presented there uh, and go from that point on. This is very early information. Let me just try to remind you about that. It is the 20th today. This came out today. Uh, emails have been going back and forth within the last half hour of me recording this video. So I want to encourage you to reach out and ask questions. I myself will respond to any emails I get over break, over the weekend. Uh, and again, I'm still posting my daily videos. If you haven't seen those up on my distance learning page, just kind of talking about how to manage what's going on right now, whether it be life, academics, or so forth. So please check those out. And again, if you need anything, it's a technical aspect, it's a food aspect, it's something related to this class, this update, or beyond, please do not hesitate to reach out. Know that we care for you. The reason I'm getting this information to you right away and I'm gonna push it out in Canvas right away is that I need you to see this and I want you to be able to be ready for whatever comes. A uh, little fun note for my class, I don't think we'll be doing the stress test of this year because everything right now is a bit of a stress test. So with that, please feel free to reach out and ask any questions and beyond that, good luck and let me know what I can do to help you. Have a great rest of your day.